Okay, well, uh, you might want some comfort food this morning. We're off to a chilly start with a temperature of 25 in Salt Lake. It's zero, though, in Logan. It's six degrees below that in Roosevelt, starting out 25 in Moab, 40 currently in St. George. Got to grab uh, the heavy coat when you head out the door again. But in the north, it's quiet. While over southern Utah, you've got some rain and snow showers uh, drifting through, with most of any accumulation being along and over the higher terrain. Anything in the valleys would be pretty light. It's moisture that's wrapped around a storm that will be moving to our south today, crossing Arizona and New Mexico. Now, high pressure is still going to keep it dry in the north and maintain the inversions, but not for long. There's another system off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. That will move in late tonight through tomorrow, and that will bring more widespread precipitation. But that ahead of it will hit 39 in Salt Lake, which is about 5 degrees below normal for this time of year. Otherwise, it will be sunny and hazy in the north, partly cloudy over central and southern Utah, uh, with a chance of some rain and snow showers in the south. Southwest early on, uh, they'll linger the longest over the southeast corner of the state with minor accumulations uh, above 5,000 feet. Anything below that would just end up being a dusting, but still you might have some wet roads in the southeast to deal with. But the bigger storm will move in and bring uh, heavier snow, especially to central and southern Utah later tonight through Wednesday afternoon. There might be 6 to 12 inches in the mountains in that time frame, a few inches in some of the valleys, although above 6,000 feet in south central Utah, there could potentially be several inches. That would be the case for uh, the southern Wasatch Mountains, but the farther north you go, the lighter amounts would be. And any valley snow in northern Utah looks like it uh, would very likely be very light. Now, with the rain and snow tomorrow, temperature in St. George will drop into the low 40s. So big cool down for Valentine's Day, but then you'll be drying out on Wednesday, and by the weekend, you'll make it back into the mid-upper 50s. And in northern Utah, we'll have a chance of some snow showers tomorrow. Main impact of the storm will be to knock the temperature down. We'll only be hovering near 30 during the middle of the week with re readings in the morning dropping all the way down into the mid-upper teens. Then we'll make it back into the low 40s by Saturday and Sunday.